Welcome to Cooking with TGI. Today we're doing one of my personal favorites, scones with a twist. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Cooking with TGI. So today we're going to be working on my mum's Scottish scone recipe um, with a twist because I've modified it somewhat. Um, so my kids came to me some time ago and asked me if I'd start posting some videos on some of our traditional family recipes so that I guess they could simply look it up when they wanted to and follow along. And because I'm an idiot, I said yes. So here we are back in the kitchen and we're going to walk you through this. We are going to post recipes on the uh, TGI YouTube site. Uh, with any luck, once I figure out how to do that, you'll be able to print them off if you want to follow along on paper. So, first thing I need is to get the sieve. So, I've got a double batch laid out here. So, typically, uh, the recipe calls for two cups of flour and then half of whatever else I've got going on. So I've doubled everything up because I'm going to do two different kinds or two different versions of this scone recipe. Um, my mom used to make this for us all the time as kids. Get out. Better. So in goes the four cups of flour. As I was saying, my mom used to do this all the time when we were kids, but she did it in a cake pan, and I don't. I prefer the grab and grow for, go variety. I brought my dust mask. Hey man. I don't know why I do this. My mom says you did it, so. I remember being so foggy in the kitchen when she made them. Alright. There we go. So now we've got so for this recipe, I've got obviously the flour. We've got baking powder, baking soda. Uh, the amounts are, will be eventually on the website once I figure out how to do that. Um, quarter cup of sugar. And I have probably a tablespoon of orange rind. This was my add to this. Two eggs, because it's a double batch. Now this is where it gets a little different. So I've got in here currants and dried cranberries. My mom just used currants, hence the twist. Done. Um, and for this, we've got two different kinds of yogurt. So instead of using heavy cream, which is the traditional for a scone, when my kids were little, I started making it with yogurt. Uh, just to try and do something about making it a little bit more healthy. So right now I've got a cup of yogurt and nothing to scoop it out with. So that all goes in. Now for a more traditional style, you don't mix this too heavily. It's more of a coarse crumble uh, into that. I've got, I don't know, three quarters of a stick of butter. I use, use kinds of butter um, because I just find them easier to work with. And they're actually graduated along the side to see what's going on. So in goes the butter. Now I've already taken this butter and cut it four ways so it actually breaks into small cubes already. So I just cut it lengthwise. There, in. Cut it lengthways like that, turn it lengthwise again, and then just do that, and it cuts it up into nice little cubes. There it goes. Okay. Oops. I'll edit that out. No, I won't. Okay, so now that we got everything in here, pop it into the KitchenAid. Lock it and give it a spin. Now you can hear it starting to tighten up. It's stalling out the machine. That's a good sign. 
Uh, you can adjust it if you get a little bit too wet or a little bit too dry. You can add just a bit more flour if it's too moist or if you want you can uh, add a little bit more yogurt to uh, moisten it back up. Okay, so that's just about all it takes. Just a really coarse crumble. Now I generally like to do this the night before and then let it rest in the fridge. Then I'll take it out in the morning um, and let it rest for half an hour before I cook it off. Um, as Easter is coming, uh, and I always serve scones for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter for the girls, um, that's where this is headed for. So tomorrow we're going to be doing a big turkey dinner for Easter. So we're going to be filming that so the kids can see all of the things that go into that, and it's a lot of work. So if we can do some things the night before, I do just to make the next day a little easier. So let me just get a close-up of this. So that's it all mixed up, just a coarse crumble. Right, so here we go. We've got our knot of dough. So I'm going to break this roughly in half. And I'm going to put it back in. So as I said, we've got two versions. So this is the more traditional one where it's been hardly worked at all. Gently mixed. Put that aside. And the stuff that's still in there, I have another, about a half a cup of yogurt. And I kind of do this one by eye. So what I do now is beat the crap out of it until it's um, very well mixed. And what it's, I did that by accident once. So I was making this for my recipe for my sister. And I was so busy yapping, I hadn't realized I'd added the yogurt to it twice. So when I cooked them off, I couldn't figure out what the hell had happened. Turns out they were really good anyway, so we've kept that version of that mistake. So, I'll just show the difference in two of them. So, get this all mixed, remixed up again. And this one you can let it go until you're happy with it. Alright, what is going on? Come on, mix up there, you little booger. There we go. Now this one you're going to want to be putting some uh, flour down on the board because it's going to come out there a bit gloopy. Gloopy? Gloopy. Well, I think we're there. Definitely gloopy. Well, as I said, so if I'm prepping this for tomorrow, so I'm going to just clean this mess up and pack it in some saran wrap and put it in the fridge overnight and then in the morning take it out half an hour before I want to cook it and oh, <laughs> there you go loopy Jeez, I should be using this at work to glue wood together this is something else okay so you can see the two different kinds we got, non-gloopy and gloopy, or traditional-ish, and I don't know what that is. Anyway, so I'm going to wrap these up, put them in the fridge, and then in the morning, I will turn the camera back on when we're prepping them up to cook them and put them in the oven. Well, here we are. Good morning. Happy Easter. So today we're in the getting ready to put on a full-on day of cooking. Um, so obviously we start with our scones for breakfast. So we uh, took our dough out of the fridge about an hour ago and let it come up to temperature. So we're going to get that rolling and get it in the oven. And while they're cooking off, start working on the turkey, getting it prepped to go in the oven. And then, uh, yeah, lots to do. Let's get at it. All right, so we got our dough here. Um, we have the two kinds, one of more traditional crumbly coarse kind and then the really goopy kind. Um, so we're gonna go and portion these out. So for consistency, I use a, I don't know, it's probably a two inch by one inch uh, little cutter thing just to keep the portion sizes fairly similar so that the cooking is more even. So all we do is just kind of push it in there and simple, like that. Put them on our cookie sheet. Okay, so we've got them all formed up, sitting on our tray with some parchment paper underneath it. So the last step is I go along with a little bit of cream, 
and we just brush off the tops of them. This just helps them brown a little bit. And then just a pinch of granulated table sugar. And there they are ready to go in the oven. So they go in the oven at about 425 for 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your uh, stove. So stove is ready. We're going to pop these in. Oh, and it's hot. Set our timer. And setting the timer for 10 minutes so that I'll come back and look at them in 10 minutes and start watching them closely from there. Okay, let's see what these things look like in 10 minutes. Well, here are these little bundles of joys freshly out of the oven. So it's good to let them sit for hmm, five, 10 minutes just to salt, solidify themselves. But we like to have them with just a little bit of butter, even marmalade on them. But uh, these are still a bit warm, but I'm gonna put one aside here. Bust it open, test it out. Okay. Literally, let's get into it. Now, they're still a bit warm yet, but a little bit of butter. Oh. And there you have it Nana's sconce. Delicious. Now, on to the turkey. <laughs> <laughs>